Greetings folks, this video is going to be all about the Akaso V50 Pro action camera. Uh, this came from Amazon, Akaso on Amazon. It's a highly spec uh, action cam uh, costing about $120 US which is a very good price for a, a really decent quality action camera. Uh, you may have seen my recent video of the Point Cook uh, RAAF museum and flight display that was all shot with this Akaso V50 Pro camera does a really good job. Uh, some quick specs before we have a closer look as I said this version the grey version is 120 US dollars on Amazon you can also get uh, a special edition black version uh, which gives you uh, a few extra specs extra battery and so this one is 4k 30 native uh, with image st stabilization at that 20 megapixel still photos um, touch screen operation uh, comes with a Wi-Fi app Wi-Fi built-in uh, Bluetooth remote and it uh, allows for the connection of an external microphone so they're all very very good specs let's have a closer look I've already opened it because I wanted to have a bit of a play with it and unfortunately I had to sort of rip open the box to get it out that over there pretend it's not ripped so uh, 100 foot waterproof housing I will test that out in a um, upcoming scuba dive so that'll be fun and tons and tons of accessories there's an external charger that is cool that is awesome that this is the first camera I've seen with an external charger two batteries there's the second battery the first battery is already in there handlebar mount cable ties and uh, cleaning cloths and things like that uh, there's a spanner for undoing your uh, tight bolts there's a spare waterproof housing back here's the uh, Bluetooth remote wristwatch, wristwatch style that's not waterproof but uh, gives you start stop stills and video very nice lots of straps and there's the connection of different sorts of uh, connectors there's a, a rotating connector there handlebar mount usb cable uh, all the usual fantastic mounts yeah so these two unique things we get a spare battery we get a charger and we get this spanner for undoing the the tight nuts which is just fantastic quick look at the quick reference guide there's a card in here that says you can get free accessories if you share a review and you get the choice of either a micro SD card or a few more accessories. Quick guide there, download the user manual via the QR code and uh, tells you where to get the uh, app on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. The battery is uh, 1100 milliamp hour LiPo that's a reasonably sized battery oh, we also get uh, a naked mount as well which is great for mounting on a tripod so let's have a closer look now really nice looking sort of frosted look to the underwater housing nice quality we have two buttons on the top power and settings and shutter button there I get confused between these two I keep pushing that button there to uh, start and stop recording but it's that button there you have to push just open it up so there's the front it's a sort of a rubberized uh, coating it looks very nice a speaker on the side there a touch screen there it's not an enormous touch screen like the SJ8 Pro or the um, moment mini USB micro SD card and HDMI out and tripod mount battery in there certainly a nicely styled camera I think feels good the the coating feels very good so push and hold to turn on and we're in video mode on the screen you can see we're in video mode we're in uh, medium bit rate uh, how much recording time is left on the card it does recommend that you use uh, a U3 spec card that would be the uh, SanDisk 
extreme battery level there and the uh, video resolution down here 4k 30 touch this down the bottom here uh, we get a few little options turn the beep on and off uh, microphone on and off speakers uh, that's the Bluetooth remote and turn Wi-Fi on and off as well show you that a little bit later on now this side button on the side you can use to uh, switch between modes playback and setup you can also do that using this button here see that switches through let's have a look at setup video setup now we're in photo setup all right we'll look at photo setup resolution and 14 16 14 10 8 5 and 2 time lapse good time lapse options there time lapse duration excellent options photo burst delay timer time stamp scene mode what sort of scenes have we got outdoor indoor portrait landscape night and back to default picture quality picture quality super fine fine and normal uh, let's just stick with super fine under the effect setting you can set up the metering different filters never really play with these but they might be fun to try if you're feeling creative white balance exposure value ISO and back general settings speaker volume uh, microphone volume and uh, brightness uh, turn the beeps on and off and the shutter sound distortion uh, I'll, I'll test out this later on you can turn distortion correction on and off angle of view uh, we get super wide wide and no normal and narrow power frequency scoop diving mode makes it a bit redder turn the Wi-Fi on and off uh, and the remote set up date and time auto power off and all that sort of stuff languages format the card and we're back home again all right video settings they have the video resolutions 4k 30 2.7k 30 1080 60 1080 30 720 120 60 and that's it this video will all be shot pretty much on the 4k 30 setting the previous video at the uh, point cook RAAF Museum is all shot on 2.7K30, which I really like that setting. Uh, 1080s, uh, 1080 60 is be good for fast motion, I suppose, but 4K30 is uh, what I use most. Codec, you can choose between H.264 and H.265 for uh, slightly smaller file size. Image stabilization, uh, just turn it on and off, works at 4K30. It's quite good I'll show you a little bit later on uh, it doesn't totally get rid of all movement when I'm walking along with the camera you can see the little jerk as my foot hits the hits the ground but it does a very good job anyway video file length time lapse interval so that's a video lapse setting and I'll show you some video lapse here. Uh, as well fast motion movie you can speed your movie up two times four times 10 15 and off Wind noise reduction, scene mode, date stamp, and back to the start. Long press of the shutter button to get out of that. So we're ready to go. I do note that it only has uh, 30, 60, um, 30 and 60 frames a second. It doesn't have 25 and 50, which is unfortunate. Um, you may see a little bit of flickering from the fluorescent lights in, in uh, this shed here. I really need the 25 and 50 options uh, to work in with my video workflow but uh, we'll see how it goes anyway all right so let's go out and i'll shoot some different resolutions different uh, settings and uh, we'll have another look at it let's look at the bluetooth remote uh, you have to push and hold the power button to get that blue light on make sure uh, rf is selected as on in the camera and 
now we can use the remote to uh, take photos and videos, switching to video and recording. Stop recording, switch to stills and take a photo. That works very well. And push and hold to turn off. That turns the remote off, but it doesn't actually turn the camera off. This is an audio comparison between the GoPro Hero 7 Black and the Acaso V50 Pro. Uh, this is a very bad audio environment. I have my 3D printer chugging away over here. It's an echoey tin shed. Lots of ambient noises around as well. Uh, the GoPro Hero 7 is the camera that I usually use for these sorts of reviews because it gives me the opportunity to show you things up close as well as big things like uh, full wingspan planes. So this is how the GoPro Hero 7 records audio without an external microphone. And this is how the Acaso V50 Pro records audio. So it'll be interesting to see how the Acaso V50 Pro handles this sort of situation. Uh, from my previous video at the air show at Point Cook uh, RWF Museum, uh, I thought the audio was very, very good. And the low light performance of the Acaso was very good as well. We're on 4K30, I'll do some uh, resolution tests and image stabilization tests, a few comparisons. Overcast day, nice and calm here but there is some wind around. So this is 4K30, I'll now do some different resolutions and we'll keep an eye on the audio sync as well because often with some of these uh, budget priced but sort of high spec cameras the audio sync can get out of uh, synchronisation every now and then. Might look weird for viewers from anywhere but England, Australia and Japan because we drive on the left hand side of the road and I'm sitting on the right hand side of the the car, but uh, that's the way we roll in Australia. Now we're on 108060, which would be uh, a good resolution and frame rate for onboard footage uh, with planes or drones or stuff like that. 60 frames a second would give you uh, less sort of stuffery motion in fast panning and fast movement of planes and things. Now we're on 720-60 so I'd, I would expect the uh, quality to look uh, a bit reduced now but you can do 120 frames a second on 720 as well. 
Not that that's a setting that I would use very often. So what do we think of the Acaso V50 Pro? It's uh, an extremely good camera. It's um, video quality is excellent. Audio quality is, is absolutely fine and perfectly in sync, which is better than a lot of the uh, high spec action cameras on the market. Uh, I really like the fact that it comes with a charger and a spare battery and a uh, knob spanner and the wrist style remote, all useful. Uh, accessories but the main thing is the image quality is excellent very impressed any downsides the touch screen is a little bit uh, unresponsive but you can do everything using the two buttons up the top which I find is quicker anyway uh, I think the two buttons should be swapped over so this one is the shutter button and that one is the uh, settings and power button I'm continually pushing the wrong button to start and stop video and take photos and changing settings instead that's a little annoyance, just something you have to get used to, I suppose. But for the price, 120 US dollars, uh, it is very, very impressive. So you can have a look at my previous video at the RAAF Museum uh, to see a full day of recording with this camera. In the future, I'll do some underwater scuba diving with the camera to test the underwater capabilities, which I'm sure they'll be very good anyway. Um, but that's about it. The Acaso V50 Pro Action Cam, 4K 30 frames a second with image stabilization. Very, very impressive. Thanks for watching.